This episode is sponsored by Rachel Ray Nutrish, natural food for cats. House panthers live in homes around the world. These mysterious and elegant, most of the time, felines have survived for thousands of years. Let's take a closer look at what's made this animal so successful. House panthers adapt very well to most environments. The particular animal we tracked while filming this documentary resides in a two-bedroom apartment with its humans. This male panther was observed switching effortlessly from carpet terrain to linoleum and was spotted in all locations of the apartment, including the living room, bedroom, bathroom, office and the laundry room. Using a tracking device that we attached to this panther, you can see that he patrolled all of his territory over a 24-hour period, including different altitudes and when another cat was bold enough to enter his domain, he quickly defended it. House panthers vary in size and weight depending on their breed, and both short and long-haired specimens can be found. Their camouflage is perhaps their most important adaptation. Their coloration allows them to disappear against darker surroundings, enabling them to stay hidden and wait for potential prey to cross their path. And their ninja skills are extremely impressive. <sighs> <laughs> Their diet includes dry food, which they graze on whenever they choose, the occasional spider, and they also regularly hunt fish and the elusive red dot. Yet these attempts often result in failure. But the majority of their nutritional requirements are provided by their human. Using sophisticated communication techniques, house panthers alert their humans when they're in need of a meal, which is usually at dawn and dusk. Unfortunately, Due to the negative reputation they've had since their association with witchcraft started hundreds of years ago, and the mistruth that they bring bad luck, they're often the last to be adopted and the first to be euthanized in animal shelters around the world. But from the footage and data that we collected, it seems quite obvious to us that house panthers are just as affectionate and snuggly as other felines. Mm. It's up to us to look past our own paranoia and the negative ways in which black cats are portrayed to ensure their survival. Thanks again to Rachel Ray Nutrish for sponsoring this episode.